Ibushi and Okada was really good, but I keep thinking about how Okada just can't get over that fucking uh, cold. That the Cobra Clutch. The fucking Cobra Clutch. Which actually looks more like an Anaconda device, but that's what they call it. Yes, I mean, it was a really good match, but I it was... It was not as good as this, it, and it was not this, as good as the no. Tanashi Naito match. It, it, was, it was not as good as Okada and Ibushi, the Tokyo Dome. Well, of course that's, not. That's the other thing. It's, 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 this, this is like... This, I... I I use this comparison for, for American wrestling a lot. This was like a good pay-per-view main event, whereas you know the Tokyo Dome match was a match of the year candidate. And I watched this match, and at no point did I think this is the best match I've seen all year. So it's funny because we talk about this a lot with uh, Japanese-style matches, how you'll be watching and think, it's okay, but it's not that great. And then by the end, you think, holy crap, that was the best match I've seen in months. This is the first one of those... Or wasn't that, it, like I say, it wasn't as the best match I've seen in months, but it started very, very slow, and then I can pinpoint the moment where it, it started to turn around. So they are going slow in the first part of this. This is a 1970s match for a while. They're, they're grabbing headlocks and lying there for five minutes at a time. And there's some mid-level back-and-forth stuff, but they're kind of half-assing it. Like, everyone in the ring, on commentary, in the crowd, they all know this is still going to go a long time. Okada is trying, because there's no cheering involved. He's trying to play cheerleader, but the crowd's not funky enough to keep up with him. He's going clap, 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 stomp, clap, 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 stomp, clap, 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 stomp. And they're trying, but it's too complicated, so they just go... <laughs> and that's good. So, eventually, like 15 minutes in... They're fighting outside, and Ibushi busts out the cabrada. And one of the announcers screams, Cabrada! And one screams, Acai Moon Salt! And everyone's going crazy, and, and then you can feel this is the point where the match has actually begun. Everything they've done up to this point is just killing time. Now they're actually in there to have a wrestling match. Okada's selling is so great. He's just he's just fighting to catch his breath at some of these points. You, it's Okada. He's not actually blown up. You realize he's just selling fatigue and the pain he is in that he can't even fill his lungs with air. They go to the top rope. Ibushi does like the most amazing jumping Rana you ever saw. I swear to God, he levitated at one point during this move. And they they they're, they're on the knee they're on their knees having an elbow exchange which probably would have been a lot better if I hadn't watched Shii and Suzuki do the same spot a thousand times better but I do like the spot where Okada turns and taps his own chin to invite a shot and Ibushi just does the slow burn grin to the crowd like he gets a chance to kill this fucker as hard as he can and then he kills him as hard as he can uh there's a lot of cobra clutching going on and Okada starts, he has, has done the dropkick the entire match. He starts busting out the dropkick, but he goes for a third one. He's gone to the well too many times. Ibushi turns into a power bomb, hits a V-trigger, and the Kamigoye for the win. And it was a very good match, a 22-minute match that didn't need to go too much longer than that. But was it the best match I've seen all year? Absolutely not. That was good, but it it just, I mean, it was very good. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've I just, the thing about it was, it's like they started doing this match, and for about 10 minutes, I'm just watching this match. And it's very good because it's Okada and it's Ibushi. How could it not be good? Yes. But there's like nothing to it for a while. And then they decided, we've got a story. We will try to break each other's neck with this tombstone. And they built a match around trying to kill each other with the tombstone. And by the time the match was over, I was like, they found something. That was their story. And they did a very, very good job with it. And it's impossible for them to have a bad match. And it really was a very, very good match. But especially after watching Night 2 and the Tanashi Naito match, I mean, I really look at this match differently now. It, and listen, it absolutely positively in no way was bad. But, I mean, the two standout matches of the tournament were the Suzuki match and the Tanahashi match. Just leaps and bounds above everything else. And this was very, very good. And the Cobra Clutch, I mean, he's got to beat somebody. Like, somebody, a big, big name. He needs to beat them with this Cobra Clutch. Because these fans couldn't scream, but they could definitely clap. And they clapped for a lot of things. And they did a really good job, you know, getting behind the wrestlers and everything. But every time he put on that hold, it was silent. They didn't even clap. I was like, oh my god. You know, the other thing that was good, you didn't see the Tanahashi match. So the fans were allowed to clap but not cheer. But in the Tanahashi match, because 
when you chant for them, they chant Tanahashi. It's three syllables. Yes. Yeah, yeah. They'll be going. <laughs> That's how they clapped for him. So yes. they were basically doing a chant by clapping. Anyway, you got to go watch the Tanahashi match. I don't want to downplay this one, but that one's something to see. And he's he's just the greatest. And Naito's great too. So anyway, that's the show, everybody.